Hey everybody, Will back, Will Shop Dayton, and I'm here with a 2010 GMC Arcadia, and we're changing out the rear sway bar links. I did not see many videos on the rear sway bar links. They're uh, similar to other vehicles, but I didn't see one. So what you're going to need is basically two half inches, a long one, I have a long one here, and I also have this one on the bricker bar. So you're going to need to hold the bottom while you loosen the top. If you can see, I definitely put some oil on it. <laughs> Needed the oil. And let's see if we can just get a turn. So you see the whole thing is turning. Let's try to hold it with our hands and see what we get. Alright. Hey, it's actually working. So you can probably use some pliers. Any any set of pliers probably work. Alright, let's see, let me get that. Just like that, holding the bottom with the breaker bar and that. And it's coming right apart. There you go. I hope yours is as lucky as I am, because I know these can be a pain. I have plenty of videos on them. I understand the pain of doing them. But these are pretty simple and straightforward. And if they're not too bad, you're good. If they are completely seized, locked, you break the bolt off and still won't come off, just get you a saw saw cut straight through here. Straight through here. Come this way. Move this out the way. Come through here. Just cut it straight off. After that, it should be okay. I'm lucky. Wrench work. Oh yeah, your arm can definitely get tired. Okay, wheel back with the bottom. It was spinning, so I went and got some vice grips, locked those on tight. And basically we're gonna repeat the process for the bottom. Just spin it on now. Like I said, if you were having issues, you might want to just cut them off. You can cut them off straight from the bottom with a saw saw or a flat blade disc, grinding disc, or, you know, it's possible. All right, so I'm going to get this off, and then I'll show you how to install. Okay, now that I have the bottom disconnected and the top disconnected, let me show you how I got it now. So I got a pry bar, my breaker bar, and just put it on the shock. And lift up just to get just enough leverage and it pops right out. There you go. It's probably smart to leave that breaker bar in there because you're going to need that to put the new one back in. But that's a good spot. You me? And there's the old ones. Be back with the install in a second. Hey, back with the new sway bar link. Always compare your parts. I stripped off the top. In the bottom sway bar link and I'm going to try to feed it in the exact same way that I took it out so I'm going to feed it down here holding the bushing on into that hole and then I'm going to take my breaker bar and that between the shock like I said good leverage point probably the higher I go the better easier it is and up. and in and now I'm going to feed, make sure everything's straight. I'm going to feed my top one, then I'm going to feed my bottom one. Then we're going to torque them down to spec. And we're pretty much done. That's pretty much how you change the sway bar links, the rear sway bar links. Hey, I'm actually doing them both at the same time. On a GMC Arcadia 2010. Well, it's pretty straightforward, very easy. You could do it yourself, save yourself some money. I definitely would if I had the vehicle. I would definitely not pay dealership prices. And once again, you still need a half inch. And I'm just going to hold this until it gets snug. So 
in short. I appreciate everybody. Thank all my fans, everybody that subscribed. Anybody who's learned something from my videos, I really appreciate you. Passing knowledge along is kind of what I do. And since I didn't see a video on YouTube. Okay, back when I'm torqued down to 30 foot pounds. Not using any third.